So hello there and welcome to Vermin Hunters TV with me Cy Pitway. Today on the show me and Davey are going to show you some results of some squirrel shooting we've been doing uh, with our friend Neil Palmer and as you can see there in the background uh, the footage is already on the editing suite and ready to be uh, uploaded to YouTube so you can watch it like you are now. So we got an invite then from our friend Neil Palmer and Neil's got uh, quite a lot of land but this one particular area is a small part of a large wood uh, and normally they raise uh, and release pheasants but in the past what's been happening is because there's such a large population of grey squirrels because uh, it's never been shot before this this part of the wood uh, the squirrels are coming down and they're eating a lot of the pheasant food what they're using obviously to raise the pheasants so it's costing the shoot quite a lot of money so that's the, one of the first reasons why we're going. The second reason, and probably for me, which is the most important, is because there is so many squirrels, there's not many songbirds in this wood, uh, and that's a shame because normally when we go uh, to different permissions, especially squirrel shooting, we usually have songbirds coming down and feeding off, off the squirrel feeder while we're waiting for squirrels to turn up. When we was there yesterday, not one songbird came uh, and landed on the feeder so there were no blue tits grey tits or you know the really nice songbirds what we're used to seeing in the summer and that's due to the fact that these squirrels uh, are raiding the songbird nest and they're either eating their eggs uh, before they hatch or if they are if they have hatched uh, they're ripping the chicks out the nest and eating them because we know that grey squirrels are carnivorous and they love songbirds chicks they'll sit there and you'll see them sometimes eating them, uh, holding them in the paws and they're eating them while they're still alive which is absolutely barbaric but that's what squirrels are like. They're not the nice cuddly little fairy things what they portrayed. Anyway we uh, we turned up uh, and we did uh, our vermin control, assisted uh, Neil uh, and you'll see the results now and then I'll come back at the end and I'll tell you the third bonus what we actually got from this uh, shoot yesterday so enjoy so I'm at Black Cat Club uh, and it's the day before we uh, go squirrel shooting for Neil Palmer we've been doing some zero in uh, and I brought the P15 today using JSB Evis uh, got it zeroed at 33 yards 30 meters and then we've uh, been doing a bit of a challenge so I started off um, I put a shoot and see target out at 60 yards and I'll just turn around you see I'm on the back wall there and then if I turn down there you can see right down the end is 60 yards uh, and I shot a three shot group and it was probably about half inch so I was really happy with that I was just checking my calibration and then we put a target out a proper target and it's got three kill zones I think it's at 25, 20 and a 15 mil uh, and then underneath it's got a, a reset of 30, 25 and 20 uh, and uh, we have to knock it down and then reset it in six shots at 60 yards and I've just managed it with a P15 so I'm really pleased. Uh, as you can see it's still dark uh, and we've come to Neil's permission. Here's the feeder. He's just putting a little spinner on the tree for us just so we can check our zero. Yeah, definitely. Well, as soon as the sun comes up, hopefully, we'll get, there a, bit we are. Warm, get a bit of warmth on it, won't we? Yeah. <laughs> David is fishing a tire on. Oh man, my chair's not high enough. Yeah, that's alright. Setting up the hide. So here we are in the hide, it's still dark. David's got his obviously his impact here, I'm just using my torch to illuminate. He's gonna fill his magazine up. So David's shooting JSB heavies as well. Yeah. And yesterday when we went to Black Cat to zero, we had a target out of shoot and see at 60 yards in at your back wall. Yeah. And he shot five or six shot group at 60 yards and it was probably three quarters of an inch with that with them pellets. Really, really accurate rifle. Morning has broken 
like the first morning. Nice shot. Oh, he's down. Yeah, he's down. Went off to the left and down. Good. First shot of the day. Jay came in. Impact. Yeah. Give him an egg. Definitely. Right, we found that Jay. Took a bit of looking. Because it's where I want the camp knife. <laughs> yeah, you should add your chopper. But if I zoom in, hopefully. Uh, where is it? There. Got thorns in it. Say again, thorns, yeah. Thorns. It fell right awkward, look there. That's why it took a bit of time to find. Got one of them thorns in my leg. Ah, shit. <laughs> well done. Squizzer for the P15 today. Straight down there, eh? still at the bottom. Yeah. Ain't down there, mate. I'll just zoom down. Yeah. So you can see. There he is. He's in the feeder now, so. I'm not sure the flag. He's under the feeder. Yeah, I'm recording both. Stabie is lining up a uh, squizzer. Both cameras running. Oh, nice. Got him. Yep. Yeah, he went down to the left. Well, that's two squirrels and a J so far. Yep. So we're doing all right. Uh, we've just come out of the hide. Hide's down there, look, for a little pickup. <coughs> Uh, you've got one there, look, <laughs> and that one there. That one just landed flat, didn't it? It's down there, yeah. Didn't get far then. This is one of them gold pheasants. Up. Mm. First time I've seen one of them. Very slight quarter left to right. Oh, you'll get a heart and lung if you miss the head, mate. 
brilliant. Lovely shot. Told you that's get hot. Right, that was right on the front of this forehead, so allow the wind to do the rest of it. Yeah. Nice shooting, buddy. Yeah, thank you. Got him. Over and out. Did you see it? Yeah. I don't know if I caught it on camera. Right, I'm just walking over to where that squirrel was, what I could see in the grass. And it's somewhere around. I can't see it myself now. Where was it? Oh, no. It's over. Yep, seen. Yep. So I'm having to do a bit of a voiceover here because we had the waterproof cover on the GoPro uh, and it cut out all the sound. Uh, but what I'm doing here is I'm going to pick up that squirrel what was foraging uh, in the shrubs near the feeder and it was eating the feed what the other shot squirrels had knocked off. I just got it as you uh, as you fired. Just press record. Full mill dot wind. That was. If I hadn't seen that, if I haven't seen that um, flag, that is a full mill dot wind. Yeah, I only just managed to press record yeah. just before you uh, shot. And at that range as well. That, good shot, that. That's that. Oh, this squiz has just turned up. So I'm using the little uh, GoPro, what Renos bought me and David, one each, and it's brilliant. You see the impacts out, right, you've got a left to right. Left to right. Wind's really intermittent today. So I'll give you a view of what you want to do in the hide. There. And then now we're recording, he's on a semi handicap. There's David, he is. About to shoot them, it's going right to left again. Mm -hmm. now. Just changed. Oh, great shot! Great shot, well done, mate. So we've edited this in because it's actually how it happened on the day uh, and you can see going out and making these episodes for our subscribers is not as easy as just taking out a gun and going to shoot a few squirrels so you can see I'm trying to line up the Sony Handycam make sure it's recording and keep the picture nice and clear and in focus as well as take the shot with a P15 Dave is using his GoPro and trying to film me and I must say something funny because you can see he has a bit of a laugh there but I can't remember what I actually said I'm still trying to wrestle with the camera uh, and then go back to the shot and you'll see in a little while David gives you a view from the hide in wide angle. We've actually got three squirrels out at the minute. In fact, four, two in the pen, one on the fence behind the pen, 
battery and this one on the feeder. So I'm going to hand out this one on the feeder. Apologies if it's a bit of a wobble. But I haven't got it on the air. Oh mate, what a shot. A four mil dot wind. Look at that. That's dead as a dodo. Good shooting mate. Four mil dot of wind. Four mil dot that time, yeah. To the right, yeah. It's a good job we decided to put that wind sock up there, but <laughs> Yeah, tell me about it. Good shooting that. Okay. Got him? Yeah, just put his head down. Him a mil dot on off. Right side. Ooh. The wind is very slightly right to left. Yeah, very slightly right to left. Oh, there's two, two on the feeder. Oh mate, I have to zoom out. We're gonna have to do a, we're gonna have to do a doubler. On the top of the box. Come back to the right now. On the box. Yeah, once I've got you getting the gun ready. This is gonna have to be a coordinated shot on it. Yeah, he's just chasing, chasing one off. Yeah, he'll it, come back. I reckon. Here he comes. Oh, he's he's on the top one's there. just gone up the tree. Yeah. And there's one on the feeder. Yeah. So, uh, it may be worth. I don't know. I reckon. Unless he comes back down. If you get a shot, take him. Right, Because I'm recording anyway. Going left, right to left, you know. Uh, you're going right to left, yeah. Probably half a mil, half a mil dot. It's quite strong. Oh, that was an absolute pearl of a shot. It's not even kicked. I reckon there's a chance that, that I haven't seen the other one move. So he might be still on the tree. He might be still on the back of the tree. Yeah. Very slight, it's very slight right to left. I don't think you can get much better to be fair. Very slight. Oh, beautiful, mate. Get just hanging on up there. He's just fell off. Oh, lovely shot, mate. Thank you. How much wind did you get? Oh, nice shot. Can you see his head? Oh, he's done it again. <laughs> Mate, you were shooting at the wrong one. There's one right at the very entrance. He's got his tail. Showing us. His tail ain't, ain't up high, so you should be able to... Wait, where are you looking? There, right at the front there. Where the opening is. The like, closest corner to us? Yes. I think that's where I'm shooting. Was he? But just as I pulled, I pulled the trigger, he ducked down. <laughs> In those are there. He's still there. There's still a tail there. Yeah, that's twice. Just as I pulled the trigger, he ducked down. Left to right wind now. He's got his arse to me now. Yeah, it's stable at the moment. Left to right. Stable. 
Got him. There you go, well done. Well done. Nightmare, that one. Shooting through them tr little branches and yeah, stuff. Yeah, he's down. Yeah, I hurt him well, good way. You can see him flicking up. Yeah. yeah. His mate's still in there, though. There's two in there. Right. So I'm just walking over to that pen where you saw me shoot. I had to shoot through, obviously, that gap there at the angle. And there he is, so I've got to get in there somehow and get him. But you can see all that on there, looks corn. That's what they're eating. Loads of it in this like release pen. And David's obviously over there picking up the other ones. Uh, right. I'm on. Yes. Just look straight down the centre, I reckon. Or well, the slight, very slightest bit of left hand side. Very slightest left hand side. Not even quarter milled up. Straight down centre now. Oh, missed him. Look. Just moved his hand. See that? Have you got magazine in? I've got a pellet ready. Okay then. Shows how quiet that gun is. Yeah. Well, we're still on the wind, is it? Give it quarter left hand side. It's facing up. <coughs> if you go a left hand edge of his face, you'll, you'll hit him square in the, in the middle. He's going to turn left now. Yep. I think he's admiring the feeder. <laughs> he's saying I have just dodged an impact. Mm -hmm. Quarter left hand side. Mm -hmm. Still. You can't get a shot there. It's no. Just keep coming. I want to turn yep. side profile onto me. <coughs> Look at that sign, isn't he? Mm. Yeah, he likes that sign. I think he might be back at him if he doesn't turn around. I think he's going to turn around. Right, you've got no wind there. Straight down? Straight down the middle, yeah. Oh, oh beautiful shot, David. See, we was looking at that wind, you see the little piece of plastic what Neil's put up for us. You see, I'm reading it. At the minute, I would say it's quarter, quarter right. Oh, sorry, yeah, quarter left, because the winds are blowing to the right. And that other one you just shot, you see it there, kicking like the nerves. Shooting, David. Good 
up underneath it. Right? See him? I'm just doing that. Can you see him? Yeah, I can see him. Oh my god. Watering scope. What's wind doing? There we go. I want to two shot there, you know? There's the other one gone. There's two of them, there he is. Where's the other one? On the floor. Yeah, the other one's on the floor as well, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm on the floor. I can see the one I've just shot. Right. Oh yeah, he's on the tree. Mm -hmm. Alright. Where's he gone, is he? Mm -hmm. He's just to the left. Okay. Are we looking? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Can you shoot him? I can't look. I'm checking him. Somewhere over there, see if I can get him. I reckon that's my second reserve. What's his head up? What's that? Well done. Second is it? On the pen? Yeah, come on over the pen. So there you are. They're the ones we've picked up. There's three of us. What's the mean Dave here? And then how many did you get, Neil? I got six. Six from Neil and we've got a Jay. So I think the uh, landowner will be pretty happy with that for a first attempt. In this, to be fair, we've had a uh, windy weather, rain all day, haven't we? Yeah. So we'd have probably, so we'd have probably got quite a few more. So that brings us to the end of the episode. We hope you've enjoyed it. The bonus I was telling you about at the start is because Neil and herself did such a good job. Uh, the shoe owner was so impressed with the picture we sent him at the end of the squirrels laid on the floor that he's now given. Uh, permission for Neil to have a larger part of the wood which means more feeders to put up uh, and more shooting rights and as you know us as air rifle shooters like more permissions because it allows us to rotate uh, and shoot different areas without overshooting one area and totally sort of like making it barren of uh, vermin because obviously we do like to control and keep them at a level they need to be but we don't want to kill them that much that there's nothing there for us to shoot and enjoy our sport uh, later on and throughout the rest of the year. From myself and Davy though, I'd like to thank Neil again personally for the invite. It was a fantastic day. Uh, the weather was really bad and it rained 99% of the time we were shooting, but that didn't sort of like break our, uh, our morale. We still had a really fantastic time and a laugh. So, from me and Davy and from Neil, thanks for watching and look out for future productions of Vermin Hunters TV.